Hi guys, another little project to look at. An old Makita cordless hammer drill. It does actually charge up, but it doesn't last for very long. 9.6 volts, nickel cadmium. So the question is, well, Obviously, we could try and replace the nickel cadmium batteries that are in there, which would be possible. I'm just wondering whether we can do anything with uh, vape batteries or just ordinary lithium ion batteries. Looks like this pops apart. I expect the NICAD batteries will slide out. You can see they're a little bit crusty in there. And you can buy replacement nickel cadmium batteries. I would guess one, two, three, four, eight. That would be right because they're 1.2 volts each. 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 0.2 is 1.6. So that would give us our 9.6. So yeah, I think that probably has 8 NICAD batteries in it. Right, let's have a look, see if we can get inside. And it looks like... It ought to be possible. Oops, sorry, not the camera. There is a simple option, which um, I can't remember who it was who did it. But you just take it apart, you go up in there, connect a couple of leads onto the existing tags for a LiPo battery or lithium ion battery. You know, one of those ones for your model aeroplanes. And that will just fit up in there quite easily. But we'll see if we can get this open. Doesn't appear to want to come out. Right, there we go. Is that going to slide out conveniently? Yeah, just give it a push up there. There we go. So I expect that's one, two, three, four on each side. Yeah, there's the end of one, so you can see the length. That looks like a thermal fuse to cut the power if it overheats. That would be logical. So you could get replacements. Or you could just undo 
the screws, as I say, get to the connectors up in the end of there, which I don't think we'll be able to see. How about with the light on? Oh, you just vaguely see them shining at the back there. Yeah. Put, a, say, an XT connector on there. One of these. And then your normal hobby grade radio control. Uh, what would you want worth? A 3S would give you 11 volts, which is a bit more than it wants. And a 2S, 7.4 volts, which is a bit less than you want. So probably a 3S, and I expect it would probably survive. Of course, the other thing you could do is 3D print something like that to actually put some batteries in a slide-in container. I'll have a think about that. But that'll do for today. Just a peek inside to have a look at what's possible. <laughs> and one more little thing that I didn't mention. If you did go and buy replacement individual cells, you would probably need one of those little um, not arc welders, spot welders, which you can get nowadays to actually spot weld the tags in place. So the more I look at this, the more it looks like replace it with uh, lipo or lithium ion. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave us a comment so I know how I'm doing, and somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists. Thanks again.